Good news, everyone. Today, we have a body pack, which we combine with arms and legs pack and face pack. And you can start putting together characters and building them very quickly, and they're already rigged. Just, you know, pairing the right things together, and you're ready to go. How nice is that? Let's go check it out. I'll show you how to do it yourself. Need rigs. Ace Fight Studios has rigs. So, here we have it. This is the body pack. Um, as you can see, we have a couple of bodies which have legs attached, so you can grab them already fully rigged. And we have a couple of bodies which don't have legs attached. Um, and this is Bob, which is the initial start of this pack, which has some arms attached. If you don't like the arms, just select one and go S. Oops, go S with your mouse here. And you'll find in this null put stuff here, you'll find some Bob hands and just delete them and then they won't bother you as much. Same thing for the eyes. And you can attach your own stuff to them. Now, so how do these work? Basically, each one is already pre-rigged, so you know, you can also move them around. You can scale them, but make sure you're in this object mode here. So you can scale various pieces of it. And the cool thing is you can attach things to it. So if you open it up, you have this little null in each one of these, could put stuff here. And you can put stuff in these nulls. So for example, let's copy this. Let's say we're let's work with this one. Let's copy this body cartoon rig. Let's copy it, control C, and then open a new file and paste them in. You can reset its positions to the zeros. So here, just put zeros and press enter, or hit this reset PSR button. Might be called reset transform. Keep on changing them. So we have our body here. Then we can open our limbs pack or arms and legs pack, and we can grab some cartoon legs. Let's say these ones, legs lanky there. And then let's go to our untitled here and paste them in. And maybe also let's move them around, let's move them a bit so they're, oops, so they're lower down. All right, we should move the body up. Now let's move the body up, so. Okay, now, um, how do we attach the legs? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, as you can see here, we have this little controller which makes you pivots the hips. So all we have to do is we have to select these guys and we just have to put them, put them into this guy. Now, the easiest way to do that is find this guy first. So you have him and then get these two guys holding the shift key, select both of them. And you can select them from here and drag, but I find the easiest one is to go shift C and set parent. And then you can just click on, make sure you're clicking on the right one. So here it's like rigs, hips, con. Um, and you can either click on it here or here, but make sure you attach it to the inner one. And now you already have legs attached to a body. So that's super handy. And then if we want to make a head, we can either in this body cartoon rig, we have our put stuff here. This is for attaching things, not for building the rig. If you have controllers, you should parent them into the right place. So these controllers needed to be in the hips because now, as you can see, the hips have the legs in them, which is how you would build a normal rig because they're attached. These controllers, though, they don't need to be. They can either stay there or you can put them somewhere else, but um, you might want to take these controllers and um, these two guys and move them somewhere else in your hierarchy. Maybe just in general up there. It's kind of seems like a good place to put them. Um, also make sure that your body is up here. So you, all your joints and your meshes, your legs lanky is below, because if you have them at the top, then when you move stuff, see how you get all this jittery and stuff, you don't want that. So you make sure your legs and joints and the mesh are below where all the controllers are. And then now you can attach other stuff. So if you want to attach a head, you can just make any kind of head. You can get a sphere and you know, let's make it editable and MC for brush and smear and just there you go. So we can have a little head and we can just drag this whole head into this put stuff here and find the head stuff. There you go. And now when you move, everything will move together. You might want to have a look at this, press the S key. If you have something selected and you want to find it in the hierarchy, just press the S key and you'll find this controller up top, which doesn't move anything on the body, but it moves everything that's in the head stuff.
So you can get this guy and you go to point mode and you can select the points just with this rectangular selection here. And then you can just move them up here somewhere so it's easier to find it so it's not stuck in the head. Then go back to object mode. And now, there you go, you have your head control and you have your body control and you're nearly there, you know, you're building your character. Um, you can also, you don't have to do this. You can, for example, some of these body packs pieces are actually pretty good for heads, like this one, for example, here, or this one. Let's copy this guy, control C and go to untitled and then paste it in here. And then let's put it into, oh, let's go, reset PSR. Nope. Ah. See, we accidentally copy only the controllers, not the whole thing. So make sure when you select in body pack, make sure you select this whole null and copy it and then go to untitled and paste it. There you go. You can reset the PSR and you can move it up here like this. And I would use this, this object tool, make sure you're in object mode and just scale it down a bit, maybe like this much and place it here. And then you can, for example, I find it's pretty neat. You can just bend down these pieces. Oops. X is locked. There you go. And you have this kind of interesting little head. And then you just get this body oval rig and call this head rig and drop it into this head stuff. And now when you move your head, it'll move. And maybe if you want, if you don't like this thing, you can hide it hide all the other controllers too, but I don't know if you need them, if you don't need them, uh, you can do that. Maybe you can hide this one and then holding the alt key, double click on these guys. So they're green. So you can only see the stuff below. And now you have this kind of different head. Also don't forget you can scale these controllers as long as you're in object mode. So there you go. You have this kind of thing you can do. And then when you get your face pack through face pack, you can select some eyes like these ones called pink eyes and pink brows. Let's just copy them and go to our untitled and paste them and move them down. Oops. And move them where you want them. And then you can just put them into the head stuff as well. Um, there you go. Where is it? Head rig. No. Head stuff. There you go. Put it underneath. And now you have a head. Oops, that's the wrong controller. Um, where's the, there you go, main head controller. There you go, everything moves together. And the eyes are already rigged. So you can animate them and you have eyebrows. Um, yeah, and let's attach some arms while we're here. It's pretty much the same process, limbs pack. Let's grab some of these arms. These are called tune arms. Control C and paste them into our untitled and you can scale them. Uh, if you're having trouble scaling them, like you should be able to scale them, but if there's any trouble with scaling the mesh, you might want to go into here and change this to linear. Uh, and then you can easily scale the arms, but these ones are already fine. And here, all you have to do is just parent the controllers to the right place. So this actual, this thing at the top isn't a control, even though it looks like one. What you need is you want to get this left arm con plus and the goal. And so basically this thing as well. So shift this thing and this guy and kind of in correct place. Let's move these guys back a bit. Sorry. Now let's select, uh, you might want to move this guy as well and this guy in. And then you want to select this, this controller and this controller and holding the shift key, select these pyramids as well. And then use that shift set parent command and press on this, make sure it says rig spine one. And now see how it wiggles weird. That's because your hat, your tune arms should also be below your, the rest of your rig. So now when you select this kind of spine chest thing, see. Now we can move stuff and we can grab this and we can move it and we can grab the body and move it around. Um, you might also want to put these guys also shift C set parent and put them into this spine one controller and then it'll move together with it. So you can then kind of pose them and it's more of an FK kind of thing. Okay. Now let's have a look at some characters that I made with this. Um, this one here starts off. It's a, little B 
B character that I made. As you can see, I also added some wings to it. So, and I also parent them into the spine null so that we can attach anything you want to your character. I also attached some, I mean, I made a custom nose and I attached uh, some antennas at the top there. As you can see, it's already fully rigged and it works so as long as you parent the right things. It's a very convenient tool set. And then I just stuck it into my light kit to get this final result. I also made a humanoid character, just a little evil guy. I also you know, so you build them and when you attach the things, they move, they're connected. I made some hair quickly and final result. Yeah, this little guy. Uh, you can also use this make to make not only bipeds, you can use it as many legs as you want. You can build spiders, six-legged horses. As you can see here, I attached um, my hats and stuff pack as well to him to make this little um, inebriated party horse. And then you can pose it and all the legs move as you expect. There you see different parts of him and the legs kind of move along. And eventually we got something like this. And the last one is just like a little fat senior rabbit that I made. As you can see, I also moved the eyes apart to make, give him a bit of this goofy look. And again, I threw my light kit onto it and that's basically what you got. So yeah, uh, let me know if you have any issues or ideas, like when you're putting stuff together, if something doesn't work the way you want, I'm always very responsive, shoot me an email. And if you just have ideas for what kind of bodies you think would be useful, um, let me know. Send me an email, comment, whatever. And until next time, thanks for watching. And as always, remember, if you need rigs, Ace 5 Studios has rigs. We have free rigs up here that you can use in your personal projects. We have Mari and Mia and 5J Pack for explainers and arms and legs. And Maria has a bunch of cats and animals you can use. And here, if you go through Mari, has a full face rig. Which you can you know, it's lots of functionality. You can use them in your projects. Mir is also fully rigged. Um, you can use her as a host or to sell your product. Um, also have the arms and legs pack, which you can put together to build your own characters. And they're already rigged, so you don't need to do any weight painting. You just have to stick them together and ready to go. Or you have 5J people for your explainer videos and other stuff. So don't forget to check it out and see you next time.